Hello everyone, my name is Meena Rahul Gupta from Achievers Academy. We are here to talk about IELTS. IELTS, International English Language Testing System, which says that it tests our English language. Now let's begin with the testing. There are two ways to check somebody's language skills. We are talking about Hindi, English and Punjabi. Uh, if we want to test somebody's language, we will see whether the person understands that language and how well the person can express himself in that language. So there are two ways how we can check somebody's understanding. We'll ask somebody to read something, we'll give a piece of paper in that language, we'll ask them to read and we'll also check how far they can take out the ideas, uh, how comprehensive it is for them. So that is the test of reading. And then we'll talk to that person for some time and if the person is able to answer the questions well, that means the person has good listening skills and a good understanding also. There are two ways how the language understanding is tested. Then is the expression. Again, we have some ideas in mind and we want to express that. There are two ways to express that. One, I can put it on a piece of paper or I can say it with the words orally. So that is the test of speaking and the writing. So that is why there are four subtest of IELTS and IELTS is assessed in bank scores the total nine bank score out of which six is considered to be good and six and above of course is considered to be good that means we can communicate well enough to study or settle on in the country we are looking forward for most of us we are really scared of tests because this international English language testing system the test wherever the name exam or the test is or assessment comes we, we are almost a bit scared, the nervousness uh, comes automatically. But there is nothing to be scared of IELTS exam. You, you ought to be very, very comfortable. See, the way we communicate with each other, with our friends and family in our mother tongue, in Hindi Punjabi, whenever we are a bit more emotional, we talk to them in Hindi Punjabi. And of course, we Punjabis, we really feel uh, at our best when we speak to our friends in Punjabi or parents to uh, parents in uh, Punjabi so we, we just try to express all the emotions so we, we really feel comfortable so that comfort has to be there in English language also and how would it come what what is the thing that will bring you to that comfort that's practice can you uh, imagine can you guess how a child who is growing up in India uh, especially we are talking about Punjab, our Punjabi child who is growing up in a family and is listening to Punjabi most of the time and he speaks Punjabi only but the same child if he is born and brought up in an English speaking country he is not able to speak Punjabi he speaks English most of the times the reason is he is getting that atmosphere around him and who is creating that atmosphere? Only we are creating because we are not living in India. We are living out of India. So why can't we create this atmosphere around ourselves in India itself? And that's not a big deal. We can do. Just we need a little discipline. And we, we need to make a little more efforts in the beginning. Then when, when you become habitual, you'll, I'm sure you'll be able to help yourself and help your friends also, help your family members also who want to learn English and who want to be comfortable in English. And you might have heard your friend who are really comfortable in English and who, who have been really passionate about learning English and communicating well in English since childhood. They are able to score well in IELTS exam too. The reason is their comfort level, level with the English language. This comfort level comes with the practice. The way we have been practicing Hindi Punjabi since our childhood, we got to practice English only. And today, to begin it today is not late. You can start it today also. So make sure you read at least one article in English. Now, you don't need to read the whole newspaper. Just pick one article and then ask yourself how well you have understood that. Are you able to understand the ideas conveyed by the writer? You can refer to dictionary but not immediately while reading the article. If you don't understand few things and try to guess the meaning of the sentence, guess the meaning of the word, but later on refer to the dictionary and mobile, don't immediately rush to mobile, right? 
secondly listen to at least uh, one short conversation in english language it can be uh, news it can be some other conversation maybe the programs like coffee with karan i'm not a screen lover so i might not know many programs but of course you know there are many programs available on netflix on tv on the other uh, sites also on the other apps also but make sure add it to your routine the way you add a good salad to your food so that that should be a part of your routine now writing and speaking try to pick one topic every day i'm not talking about ielts topic let's get the general discussion we have the problem of pollution we have the problem of child labor uh, the labor is running away from our state how are we going to manage the things in future because we were so much dependent on the people from up and bihar so pick any topic of general discussion you know these are the kind of topic which are there in ielts writing and speaking also so pick those topic and practice speaking and writing on the same topic and i'm sure if you practice all these things for 10 days regularly on 11th day you'll be able to see a change in your language skills and make sure when you're doing your speaking don't forget to record your voice record your voice listen to it because the way your trainer corrects you if i'm sitting in front of you i'm listening to your speaking i'll correct you on your mistakes but if you record your voice you'll be able to catch your own mistakes and listen to yourself how many mistakes you do and try to rectify yourself in the second recording and i'm i'm really hopeful that these all instructions and uh, the uh, directions will help you for improving your speaking for the coming session i'll be back with a new session again thank you